photovoltaic arrays come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes, from very large arrays like this one, the Alamosa Photovoltaic Plant in South Central Colorado, to this small grid connected array with only four modules on a house, and this off-grid array with only three modules. But all three of these arrays are built up from rectangular aluminum framed modules like the example shown at the bottom. These common PV modules are often called conventional modules. There are also other types of modules, some with different sizes and shapes. We'll talk about some of these a little, but mainly we'll be interested in PV arrays using conventional modules. Conventional solar modules are made up of wafer solar cells as shown here. This module has 72 solar cells in a 6x12 arrangement. We'll talk about modules soon, but now let's talk a little about the cells that make up a module. We see here an individual solar cell of the most common type. When it is exposed to sunlight, it develops a voltage between the top and bottom of the wafer. Usually, the voltage at the top of the wafer is negative with respect to the bottom, although some companies make cells in which this is reversed. Notice that the top contact of the solar cell is a metal grid because the sunlight has to get through it and into the cell. Even so, a little sunlight is blocked by the metal contact on the top. The bottom is completely covered by a metal contact for a good connection. This drawing shows how sunlight passes through the top metal grid and into the body of the cell. The cell is designed so that the light forces electrons to go to the top of the cell, where they enter the metal grid on top and go from there to light the light bulb before re-entering the solar cell at the bottom. This is a different type of solar cell developed by the Sun Power Corporation. In this cell, the positive and negative contacts are both on the bottom, where they don't block any sunlight from getting in through the top of the cell. The top of the cell is intentionally rough to reduce the amount of sunlight lost to reflection. This cell generates more electricity than the more common cell we just saw, but this cell is also much more complicated and expensive to manufacture. 